Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Roy Wood Jr. We yes. both work on shows that talk about the news. I would love to get your take on the McCarthy vote chaos. What is, what's wrong with, <laughs> with our country, man? Like, cause like, it's, it's one thing to laugh about what's happening with the Republicans and not being able to vote on the, the speaker or whatever. But also don't forget while this is happening, government is not happening. Yeah. Our government has not started. You back to work. Yeah. I'm back to work. Yeah, yeah, back to work. Our government is just still, just, uh, you ever been at a fast food spot during the shift change? <laughs> That's essentially what's happening in DC right now. It's just somebody keep counting down the register. The money ain't right, so they gotta keep counting the register again. And I'm just here for a little government. I just want a little government and some fries. <laughs> But I just, I don't, I, I really hate that. I hate the fact that you have all of these new politicians who worked, worked hard during midterms to be elected and now they have to sit and twiddle their thumbs because no one can even be sworn in. Yeah. You can't even, you got the job and just, yeah, I'm sorry. That, <laughs> hey, you got hired at Seth Meyers, but we haven't voted on a new Seth Meyer yet. <laughs> so you can't work. And so I think that part of it, I think is what is lost in a lot of the, um, the debate on all of this, man. But you, it's, it's fun to watch, though. Yeah, it is. It is fun to watch. You uh, watching this... Republicans fight like this is like watching. You ever seen a family fight at Golden Corral? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. You be like, I don't want to be a part of that family, but I... that's an interesting thing. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be an interesting year uh, for everyone over The Daily Show. Obviously, uh, Trevor yeah. uh, announced he was leaving after a seven-year run. In his announcement, which I believe caught everybody off guard, he mentioned that you don't had point, just... Don't point. What well, point? <laughs> well, I feel like I didn't do the point, but Trevor did say you had just said to him, can you believe it's been seven years? That's all, and that's all I said. <laughs> that's all I said. And then the liberal media... <laughs> They, they somehow took that. I, I saw, here's what happened. The day before Trevor stepped down, the day before Trevor announced that he was going to step down from the show, I said, hey, man, seven years, man. Today has been seven years. And he just went. <laughs> and I was like, what, what was that? <laughs> He's like, nothing. And then the next day he announced. And I didn't say it in the sense of, hey, man, you need to get the <laughs> hell out of here. It's like, imagine if you told your wife happy anniversary and then the next day she was like, I'm leaving. You're like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, but, you know, I'm, but I'm, very, I'm very happy for him, man. I'm happy for him making that choice for himself. I'm it's happy for him. Exciting. excited to see what's next for him. Uh, I know you're going to have a rotation of hosts. You're going to uh, get to do it for a week. I'm looking forward to that. At some point, but, you know, we got a gang of celebrities coming in. Do you know man. a lot? Of, I mean, there's a lot of big names. Have you worked with some of these people yeah, before? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a blessing, man, to really be able to sit down with the likes of... I've, I've opened for these people on the road, but to actually sit and create late-night television for four days with Wanda Sykes and... Marlon Wayans, Leslie Jones, Chelsea Handler, Sarah Silverman, Al Franken stepping up in that thing. The only week I'm nervous about is Chelsea. Uh huh. I'm, this is Chelsea Handler. I'm nervous about Chelsea Handler. Now, what and, is, where are your nerves come well, from? Because back in 07, I said some, some wild shit on her show. Okay. And, and you know how you be a guest on somebody's show, you say some wild, and then the producers don't have your back. Uh huh. And then you be like, man, I ain't gonna never see her again. It don't matter. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> Do you remember what that you guy, said that got it, you in trouble? What, what it was, like, you remember Chelsea lately, they talked about celebrity sure. uh, culture stuff. And I don't remember the year, but it was, it was a story about Sylvester Stallone getting Botox. Uh -huh. This was like a big, for the young people, this was a big conspiracy <laughs> back in the day. Like, what? A man with muscles took something to get more muscles? <laughs> To straighten out his skin. And I don't remember, what I said was to, I'm gonna just tell you because I trust you. <laughs> I said, who gives a <laughs> I like his movies. I don't care if he take cocaine. And whatever it was, <laughs> one of the producers, somebody didn't, look, whatever it was, I just, I was never invited back to the show. And I don't think that was Chelsea's call, but just, it's just one of those things where when I'm around Chelsea, when she come to host a daily show, I'm, I ain't saying about Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> It's probably very safe. Keep That's my mouth shut. <laughs> do you, yeah, I'm very excited. If about uh, this. if when it, your week does come around, who uh, who do you want to interview? Who would you love to sit down with? Oof. Two people. Uh, give me Samuel L. Jackson. Great choice. <laughs> Great choice. And Solange Knowles. All right. A very. I hosted. 
I hosted the uh, Essence Music Festival a couple of years ago, and Solange was one of the performers. And as a host, you get to see the sound check. And to, I wish everyone had the opportunity to watch the gift that is an artist preparing and rehearsing. And what she did was so methodical and scientific in how she presented her art. Like it literally changed the DNA of me as a performer. So to be able to have a conversation and ask a bunch of questions about that, like that would be the ultimate. Sam Jackson, I just want to borrow one of his Kangos. Yeah, man, I get it. I think he always comes with like a suitcase full of them. So yeah, that's uh... he, got, he got him in his hip like Batman. He just <laughs> out and put one on. Uh, hey, man, thank you for being here. It's always such a pleasure. It, Happy New Year. Roy Wood Jr., The Daily Show returns from hiatus January 17th. We'll be right back.